Jamal Debop for life. Chris Sevens. Both these boys go to Woodcrest Secondary School. They are both members of two rival gangs who have been involved in knife and gun crime. However, they usually never get caught. But when Joseph comes along... Hi, I'm Joseph. ...and witnesses a vicious knife attack, it all changes. Joseph is a 14-year-old boy who also attends Woodcrest Secondary School. Today is a normal school day where lessons take place as usual. During lunchtime, as Joseph was just about to eat his food, he saw Jamal and Chris starting to get into a heated argument. What are you doing? D-Block, hey? I'll bang you in your face. Do it then. Soon after, Chris threatened Jamal with a knife. None of them realised that Joseph was there. Later on, whilst Joseph was walking home, yet again he saw Chris and Jamal. This time, Chris didn't only just pull out the knife, but he also stabbed him. Yo, what's happening? Get <laughs> everyone leave! Jamal is now in hospital and currently on life support. Even though Joseph was an eyewitness, he was too afraid to tell the police because he believes that snitches get stitches. Hello, I'm Omari. Hello, I'm Clearwater. Hello, I'm tired. Um, missing my boy Melvin, but yeah, he was also involved. Yeah, so uh, you guys were uh, in the creation of, uh, obviously, this uh, short podcast that was introduced to the uh, safeguarding board and i was wondering why you guys felt so passionate about uh knife crime and how it af affects your area or how it affects wolverhampton and really why you chose that for your main safe well the safeguarding reason uh, we chose knife crime because it's like a serious threat in wolverhampton city and like it's one of the most highest things to prevent Kind of. Uh, I, uh, to add on to that, I think uh, it's a serious crime in all parts of the country, but especially in Wolverhampton. I think it's of uh, much importance because uh, nowadays a lot of young people are going around with knives and stuff and using it on each other. And I think it would be more aware for the adults and also the youths to know, like, it's people's children and stuff. And it's, in, you know, we need to stop it before it gets too far out of hand. <clears throat> so uh, just moving on from that, uh, why do you guys think knife crime happens in the first place? Um, it could be gang related but uh, sometimes it can just start with two boys or girls who are just uh, beefing, just having an argument and then one of them t is a bit more serious about it, takes out a knife and stabs the other one or it can be gang related, someone can get jumped and there's many other reasons but they're not the main reasons. Uh, I do think you're correct there but I also think that people walk around with different weapons like such as knives and stuff just for protection but I think that needs to change because if that never happened a lot of knife crime wouldn't happen in the first place. Um, I agree with that but it's like there's lots of reasons that um, knife crime happens in Wolverhampton so it's like it's, if we're going to prevent it it needs to start like now rather than later.